You are someone's second wife. And Vera is a second wife's daughter. Tell me, why didn't you tell us anything about all of this? I guess it's because you wanted to keep it from us. You were betraying us all along. Now, why would I betray you? I didn't want to keep anything from you. I mean, I knew that I would have to answer this, and I was going to tell you all about it. But I was waiting for the right time, but I promise you... Oh, really? Well, tell me how long you would have waited. Would you have only told us after the wedding happened? This is really great. Now, look here, Rima. We have a statue to uphold our society, and I don't know if you have any status. All your daughter did was cheat my son by saying she loves him. What? Each and every one of you are involved in this. Since you knew everything, that even if the girl is beautiful, without a father's name, no decent family would accept her. You know that, right? Do you know what your children are called in society? Come on, tell me, what are they called? Well, they could be called anything. You know that there is no bigger relationship than a, a mother and a daughter. And let me tell you that for me, no one in this world is more important to me than my mother. And until today, I've never even used my father's surname as my own surname. And why should I? Because the society that we stay in nowadays has rules and regulations that every person has to follow. And if it was really the case, then why didn't you tell us about it? Tell me, why did you hide it from us? Your mother cheated everyone in our family. No one cheated you with anything, and you know that. And if you really don't trust me, then you should go and ask your son about this, because he already knows all about it. And instead of coming here and talking to my mother in such a horrible manner, you should rather go and talk to your own son about everything. Stop it, Vera. Please, mother. You can take this nonsense, but I can't. Did you even ask Kushan whether Kushan really knows about my father or not? So what should he have told us? You've cheated him and hypnotized him into believing what you're saying. Enough, Mr. Suryavanshi. Since you are the one who can't control your own son, you came over here to insult us? But absolutely no one has the right to insult my mother. And we didn't even hide anything from your son. Go ask him about it. And if you still think that we are the ones in the wrong, then I just don't care anymore. Then we are wrong. I'm sure I can't change your thoughts, am I right? And one more thing. If you live in a house that cannot respect my mother, then let me tell you, I don't want to live in that house or be related to anyone who is like that. Vera. Mother, I really don't like seeing you cry like this. It really breaks my heart. Mr. Suryavanshi, for me to go and get married to someone else wouldn't mean I need my father's name. Huh? But when it comes to you, and the society you live in, you want to judge me by my name instead of who I am. Now please go. I will free you, as well as your son from this wedding for the rest of your life. I will be breaking this wedding agreement right now with you as well as your son, so don't worry about that. And yes, it's true. I love Kushan with my entire heart. And I wanted to get married and settle down in my life. And I don't know how I'm going to live without him. But I would really want to marry a man and rather be in a family that is concerned about me, about me and my mother, and not our father's silly name, but a family who actually really cares about us. It's very unfortunate, Mr. Suryavanshi, that Kushan doesn't belong to a family like that. So, I won't be related to you anymore. And that's why I won't tolerate any more questions or inquiries coming from you now, right? So please leave this house as soon as possible. <laughs> 